everyone. Um, I hope you all are doing well. I um, feel like I just spoke to you, which is great, because I wish I could speak to you guys every day. I um, last saw you guys with my Pop Sugar box. By the way, I just want to let you know, those earrings were heavy, like I anticipated. Um, my ear is going through something on this side, and um, hopefully once it heals, I'll use those earrings, because they're super cute. They're just a little heavy. The Bite lip gloss, I did not like. As I said, it smelled a little like Barbie pink. And really, it's just so sweet and so disgusting. So I know I completely have faith in the Bite um, lipsticks, but just not Bite lip gloss. So what I'm going to do is just, I use it, I was telling some of you on um, the YouTube chat that sometimes I use it like as an overlay of a sheer gloss, but I'm not really going to... Um, search for it again I am really gonna try and steer everyone away from it because I just can't stand the smell um the body soap I really need a loofah I know that's the easiest thing I need a loofah I used a washcloth and I just didn't really like the way it turned out I'm gonna put this down just a bit um and then what else did I get I got the cookies and I got that oh that think thin bar delicious. I ate the entire thing the next day and it had one gram of sugar or no grams of sugar. So it was delicious, even though probably it was a lot fake. And then GI, my sister-in-law, Jamie said it's glycemic index, which is sort of what I said, sugar index, but maybe it's totally not that, but nonetheless, it was great. And if I had a bazillion dollars, I would totally get those all the time. But I got my Ipsy box in the mail, my Ipsy bag. So, and um, it started opening. I guess this is not very, um, this wasn't very adhesive today. So I saw that it was an orange, just an orange. Cute orange um, box. Listen, this is pretty cool. Okay. Was, oh, you know what? Susan W., I watched you do this yesterday. And I was like, why didn't I get this? I guess this was before I started. Beauty school. It, Susan, I watched you her whole video. And I was like, ah. Oh. So she got this Urban Decay Perversion. And it's, um, it's I think their new um, mascara. And I wanted to try it. I can't take it out unless I rip it, but I will. And she was, she had already gotten a sample of it and she said she liked it. So here you go. Perversion. Uh, I'm excited to try this. It says... Well, you know, you know how it says, dominate your lashes. Can you see that? I don't know. I mean, it looks great. We'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. That's fun. I'm so excited. All right, so then it's like this orange, cute little bag. My um, best, 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 best friend who I miss so much. Her name's Lori Harbor. She's in Atlanta. Um, she saw that I had these bags. I'm not sure she's going to like these because I would prefer one that was fabric. I may send her the pink one that I loved from last month, but I'll keep you guys posted. You know, it's so funny. So you said it. It was like with David, Susan W. It was with David, your husband. And I was like, this must be so long ago. And it really wasn't. And he was so cute. And you guys are the cutest things together. And I just wish I have a relationship just like that. So again, here's the cute, um, white and orange polka dot. I love that. It's funny because my brother went to University of Georgia and, um, there's a big rivalry between him and, uh, University of Georgia and Clemson. And John said that the, in, at Clemson, they will, um, or at University of Georgia, when they play against each other, the girls will have a sign that says orange makes you look fat because the other team wears orange. I think it's sort of funny. Okay, so first I got Mana Sheer Glow, and this is like a shimmer lotion. I wonder if you put it on your face, or could they make the type smaller? You mix with foundation or wear alone. I'm going to try and remember to mix it with foundation for tomorrow, because that could be fun. It may show up as nothing, and actually, let's, let me just try it on here so you can see. I mean, maybe it could be something. No. Not really. Can you see? No, of course not. So that's fun. I mean, I'll still try it with foundation because it could be cute, but it's a cute little bottle. Whatever. Then I get this Mongongo Jersey Shore Sun Nutrient um, Lip Defense. And Susan W. is so funny, and she's like, I really need this. And so she said, I'm going to give it to my husband. So 
I'm going to give this to Mary Remington because she likes lip stuff and it's just like this. So she will be getting that tomorrow. Next, I got Glam Glow. How hysterical is this? This is exactly what I got in my glossy box. But listen, I love it. It comes across, first of all, there's like these gross things in it that look like spinach. Um, but there, it, it's, it's great. It comes on your face super clear. You see like a hint of mud color, like green. But then as it dries, it tingles as it dries and then also um, gets darker. And I, I don't know if it does anything for my skin, but I do love it. And I really, it's an enjoyable mask. You know, and I, I wish I could do a lot masks more often, but I'm so tired when I get home from work. I, tr you know, I'm trying to go to the gym. And it's really difficult once you get home at like 8 o'clock. You just want to sort of eat like a couple of things for dinner and then just go to sleep. So it's really hard to do a mask every night. And I don't. So I usually do them Sunday. Saturday night if I have nothing planned or going on. And then finally I got Lord and Barry Black Silk Mini Kajal Coal Liner. And this is pretty mini. I won't, this looks like, you know what this size is? This is if I had a MAC eyeliner and I was at the end, I would buy a new one if it was this size. Just saying. Oh, but it's a nice consistency. It comes on smooth. You know me and my lack of it comes on really smooth I don't know if you can see that oh yeah it feels really buttery and nice um I like this I think this would be good if you know how to um I got in black which is always great um I think it's good if you know how to do a smoky eye which I really don't and I use eyeliner I use um I mean you try this tomorrow because it's good if you do it on the inner corners I or inner side of your eyeshadow uh, um I lot I lot it's good if you do it on the inner um, lash line, of which I don't do, usually do. And it looks sort of crazy when I do it. But it could be fun. Um, and also I bet you could use a brush to smooth it out a little. So I'm excited to use that. We'll see. But that's it. One, two, three, four, five. That was not very much. But you know what? I think I like I like uh, I like this mascara. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this glam glow, like a dorky girl. And then I am excited to try this. Not that I'm planning to repurchase this, because I have. You know what? I'm using, ladies and gentlemen, I'm using number 77 gel eyeliner from Inglot, and I love it. And I know I'm not going to really do a review on all the Inglot stuff I got because honestly I still don't know how to use half the eyeshadows I got and I may go back there and see if they'll do a little tutorial for me in person but I love it. It's much looser and jellier than the Maybelline um, gel liner but and also the MAC. I think it's a little bit looser than the MAC um, Black Jacks but I love it and sorry about this little gross hair. Oh, geez, Ann. Um, and then I, I always love to give things away, so this little thing is going to go to to Mary. Uh, I'm not really sure about this. We're going to try it tomorrow. I'll keep you guys posted. But that's about it. This is a good length video. I knew it wasn't going to be that long. Um, also, guys, I did do the Stitch Fix, and I want to share about it. I didn't know, like, as I was walking home today from the train, I was like, should I tell people what I picked, or should I let it? I, should I let it be a surprise? And I still don't know. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to edit the video. Haven't even anticipated, like, haven't even tried. So, um, I, but I want you guys to see so you get, like, an idea of what kind of thing Stitch Fix does. I'm not going to say anything. All I'll say is that I'll try it again. That maybe gives away too much already. All right, nonetheless, I hope you guys are doing great. Summer's almost over. I cannot believe it. It's already August, like, 22nd. Summer is almost over. But you know what happens then? It's um, better boxes and Christmas time and Thanksgiving, vice versa. But it's hopefully better boxes. Um, I hope you guys are all doing really well. Thanks so much, so much, so much, so much for subscribing. And for those that write to me, listen. I'm writing back, so thank you. And if you guys want to write to me on Facebook, you can do that too. Um, I think I'm listed under Ann Zadoff, and you can see that in my um, 
in my title on YouTube. But I hope you guys are all doing well and enjoying the last periods of summer. It's going to be really, it's going to be, the cold will be here before we know it is what I'm trying to say. Um, that's about it. I hope you guys are doing well and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Mwah.